our senior consul, Mr. Marshalek, along with um, Samantha Matut, the Assistant Solicitor General, we have gone back and looked at the gender policy and made a few adjustments in terms of what is being proposed. Because if you will recall, um, some of the Maya communities and leaders were saying that they didn't like the Section 5, which, you, which gives you, to begin with, a concentric circle of a kilometer or two or three kilometers going out in terms of radius. They weren't too happy with that. But I believe that there was a misconception there. We were not saying to the Maya communities, this is all the land that you're going to get. What we were saying is that is your starting point without you having to prove use and occupation. Now, one of the um, proposals in the policy is that if you wish to claim as communal land more than the two or three kilometers radius, then you would have to prove use and occupation for at least 30 years. You see, no, some of them don't want to hear that. Some of them don't want to hear that. But unfortunately, the government is not in a position to please only one person or a set of people, we have to create a balancing act. And I can tell you that Mr. Rekena will be reaching out to the non-Maya communities as well. Jacintoville, Yemery Grove, you know, Barranco. These are areas um, that, we ha that we really have to look at, you know. So I am pleased. We are waiting to hear from the legal advisor for the MLA uh, grouping by the end of April, and then we will be reporting back to the Caribbean Court of Justice.